Hello everyone, how are you all doing? My name is Jay, you are watching Tech Hype. Let's dive right into today's video and talk about the Watch OS 10 Beta 1. Oh my god, I can't express how excited I am today. It is a day full of new updates. We have the public betas rolled out finally today. We have got the public betas and Watch OS 10 Beta 1 is here. Let's dive right into today's video and talk about what's new in this update and should you install the Watch OS 10 public beta. My name is Jay, you are watching Tech Hype. First of all, I would request you guys to please hit that subscribe button because we are really, really close to 10k and I want to get to 10k as soon as we can. It is my birthday on 31st of July and I swear I am really excited and I want to cut a cake of 10k and my birthday on the same day. So help me get to 10k, it would mean a lot to me. Now that you have subscribed and turned on notification, let's talk about Watch OS 10 Beta 1. So the Watch OS 10 Public Beta 1 is finally here and the number one question that a lot of you guys will ask. As soon as you clicked on this video, the number one question you have, I know it, should I install it on my watch? Wait a minute, watch this video till the end, you will know the answer. Let's start up with the new features of Watch OS 10. I know you guys are already aware of this. Public betas are something which gets all of us excited and this is not the first watch os video you are watching i know this but still let's recap for a second and talk about what all new features and what are the highlights of watch os 10. watch os 10 public beta brings really big changes to the table it is one of the if not the biggest change to watch os since its release it has already become my favorite os release this wwdc after the vision os that is really really exciting but but the watch OS 10 is really amazing. I really, really like this. I like it more than the Mac OS, the iOS. This is got to be my favorite changes that has been announced on the WWDC. There is a big redesign in pretty much every element of watch OS 10. If you talk about the system apps, the weather app is just so much more better. Weather app resembles the iPhone so much now. It is really amazing. You even see the raindrops and the thunderstorm, the fog. There are all the dynamics and all the cool animations that we have been seeing on our iPhones for years. The weather app on the Apple Watch was really weird and not intuitive at all. I never really liked it. I never was a fan of it, but the weather app on Apple Watch on the Watch OS 10 public beta gotta be my favorite thing. Then the, another big change is invoking the control center. You remember, remember you used to just swipe up to get the control center. It is basically the same gesture which we had on the iOS 10 and before that or you can call it devices with home button that control center gesture is now revamped and it is no longer swipe from the bottom you have to press the side button which is below the crown button you have to press that button in order to invoke the control center that is weird and it will take some time to get used to but i have a feeling that it is for sure much more convenient control center itself has received a lot of new things for example, there are a lot of elements in it which are new. The new battery icon, the new icons in general in the control center and the one thing that I love about the Watch OS 10 is of course applied from the beta 1, the public beta 1, which I love is the smooth animations and the app view. The app view is the combination of list view and grid view which looks super Bob. Let me know down in comments below what are your thoughts about the Watch OS 10 new redesign and changes. I would love to hear those. Personally, this is the best blend of the both of the worlds. It is the best because Grid View was also really amazing and intuitive, but we always have had problems launching apps sometimes and where it has been that it misclicks the app. If you are trying to open Nike app, it will open this app, which is aside the Nike app because of course it is a small and tiny little display and your fingers are a bit too big for it. So there has been always a problem with grid view with some people. Personally, I never actually had a lot of issues with it, but it always seemed really amazing. The animation of grid view, 
I really loved it since the day one. And I'm glad that list view and grid view are now combined. Not to forget the new watch faces. Oh yes, the new watch faces on the watch western are super. Up. I love them so much. And I know you guys also love them and it is one of the biggest reasons the new watch faces is being one of the biggest reasons that people are so excited to download this version. There are a lot of big changes and tweaks and features in the watch OS 10 public beta one which are really good quality of life improvement and at the same time they are a big enhancement in the looks and feel of your watch it just changes everything and a lot of things how you interact with your watch and for a fact all the apple watch users gonna feel something really new and fresh because they are gonna just try and learn new things about their watch and not to forget a completely different way to interact with your watch the performance also seems pretty stable and so good i have had zero hiccups on this version it has been one of the best things that i have installed it this year because as i said in the starting of this video for os 10 gotta be my favorite update which has been released by apple this year and not to forget we are going to get more and more new features to our watches as soon as september i mean the developer betas of course so make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notification because developer betas will have even more new changes and tweaks now let's talk about the battery life yes this is a really really big thing to talk about because it plays a major role when you own an apple watch Apple watches are never good in terms of battery life and this is no exception. Of course, keeping this in mind that it is a beta at the end of the day, it is not a public release and not to forget even the first public release do not have high expectation with it that's not going to be really good either in terms of battery life the battery life that you are going to get in this version is going to be uh, it's, it's going to be below decent it's gonna be below average it's not gonna be really good or even decent at some point for especially people using older watches for example the series 4 the series 5 these users are going to have a uh, trouble using their watch especially if your battery health is drained now coming to the conclusion how is this update and is it worth installing the public beta one of watch os 10 the answer is yes and no at the same time if you do want to try out new features and are really excited about it you can for sure install it but just keep in mind you have to keep your charger nearby you are going to visiting the charger of your apple watch much more often that you are doing right now if you are not on the watch os 10 developer beta already not to forget it is not possible to downgrade your watch unlike iphones connecting it to your mac or anything nothing is gonna help apple does not allow you to go back or downgrade your watch to the previous os thank you so much for watching this video till the end my name is jay aka tech hyped and i am signing off please hit that subscribe button if you have watched this video till the end and you are in to help me getting to 10k before my birthday please hit that subscribe button it would mean a lot to me i never asked anyone to subscribe to my channel this much because i'm so excited my birthday and 10k are so close peace out and have a great day everyone